We got uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, um, Bad Out of Hell. What are those? Those are classic meatloaf. <laughs> Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. All right, so in the continuation of Frozen Food Month, yep. today we have Frozen Dinners and the Meatloaf Variety. I'm excited because so, I'm a big meatloaf fan. I love them with a little bit of ketchup. It has to be a little sweet and a little moist. What are you looking for? I like uh, spice in the meat. Okay. I like um, a little sweet sauce and I like mm -hmm. some tang. Okay. So we're going to grade on a, a blind taste test. We have six different brands. We don't know which brand we're having at the time. We're going to grade it on a scale of one to ten with our handy dandy whiteboards. Everybody seems to love them, so we'll continue using Good. them. Whichever one wins, that's the one you should buy at home. Okay. All right, number one. This one looks like it might have some tang to it. It does. Hmm. Um, it's a little, sweet. A little garlic, a little onion. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of pepper, but... Texture, too, is a big thing. Right. Um, this one's kind of gummy. It's a loaf, that's for sure. Yeah, loaf of something. Not a lot of ketchup flavor to that no. one, though. No, no. Um, it's more like a Salisbury steak. It is. Kind of flavor to it. That is exactly it. Wow. Seven. seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, number two. This one's kind of a thicker. This is a little thicker and a lot of sauce on top. Mm hmm. A little like redder it. sauce, so there might be more ketchup flavor here. Hmm. The texture's a lot better. Right. It's like you're, like a homemade meatloaf yeah. rather than a frozen one. Mmm. Um, kind of smoky. I get a, like a grilled hamburger yeah. flavor. Mm hmm. You can almost taste the char marks on it. I like this one. The sauce is okay. Right, it's still not a ketchup sauce, which I'm kind of surprised that the first two that we've had haven't had that. Yeah, but these are both have good uh, spice throughout. Mm hmm. Both would be really good with mashed potatoes. Absolutely. Gotta have mashed potatoes. All right. Eight. I want just one a little bit more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Number three. This one has a lot of sauce on it. And you can kind of see through, they got some char marks too. Softer mm. texture. I got pepper. Yeah, I see a pepper on yours. I want to get, dig on mine and see if I have one. If that was in the sauce. That's pretty good. Again, the glaze is kind of more like a Salisbury steak mm -hmm. rather than a ketchup glaze. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I want something with a little more um, substance and spice in it. This one does taste like it though. It has fresher ingredients because like the you onions and the pepper. You have pepper in there. Yeah. This one, uh, That's like a, it has a good texture too. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a meat ball rather than a meat loaf. It is. Kind of nice sweet and on sour it. meatballs. Mm -hmm. I think we we'll go eat this one. This Eight and a half. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, number four. This one's again a thicker. This is real thick. Sauce. Looks... Chunks of onion and pepper. Oh wow. Yeah. That one's very uh, hearty. Yeah. And this has the brownish gravy on it, mm -hmm. which makes it taste midwestern. The texture on this one's much better mm. than the other ones too. It doesn't seem like it's quite as a frozen meal. It's more of a homemade. I like the texture and the overall taste. It doesn't quite have as much pop mm -hmm. as the last one, but I think overall, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish good. mine. I, yeah. I, I like this one a lot. This, I would not complain about that being on my plate. Another nine. Nine. Yeah, that was really good. Yep. All right, number five, and this is actually the first one that you can tell it's a ketchup glaze. Yeah, it has a uh, distinct. Red glaze, Rich lots of onions. onions. We should be on opposite sides because you're left-handed and I'm <laughs> right-handed. We just now figured that out uh, after oh 100 and, 160 episodes. That's Ketchup sweet, really good. Sweet and tangy, but it has uh, a little bit of zip to it. Mm -hmm. I will say the texture though is loafish and not homemade, I guess. I get a lot of chopped up chunks of meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. Was that bacon? It does kind of taste like there's bacon <laughs> in there too. Yeah, I'll probably finish this one. It's pretty good. I like the topping. Nine and a half. All right, I want eight and a half. <laughs> I think I like that previous one just a little bit better because the really? texture. And I thought this texture was good. All right, last but not least, number six. Looks like a pork chop. This one's pretty thin. Has a um, sweet and sour colored glaze on it. Gelatinous. This one, uh, again, kind of tastes like a Salisbury steak. Mm hmm. The texture is too, it's a little thin. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of just a, a patty more than right. a loaf. Patty, that's a good word. Not it's not much, a bad flavor, but it's right. just. Not much spice and. It's just there. Mm -hmm. I gave it that one a, no I didn't, I gave it a six. <laughs> I'll go with seven. <laughs> All right, after trying six different brands of the blind taste test, we have a tie at the top. 
what do you know? 18 out of 20 for both of these. So Stouffer's was uh, my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the thickness of it, the texture, and also the gravy that it had with it. Even though it wasn't ketchup based, it was still pretty, pretty uh, flavorful. Yeah, that was, um, I think, the best meat flavor overall. It was mm -hmm. smoky and, I don't know, something about the sauce. It all worked well. Yep, yeah, tasted homemade. Mm -hmm. Also tied in first was Devour. This is a uh, Fairly new brand that's mm -hmm. been out. Top was bacon. Bacon Again, tops. that was with our yeah. mac and cheese uh, winner as well was Devour, and they had bacon on top of that. And this comes with uh, smoky garlic mac and cheese, so... We're gonna try that a little bit now. Yeah. <laughs> but again, everybody has their own personal preference on meatloaf and what they like. Um, but we were pretty surprised with the frozen meatloafs today. There wasn't a bad one out of no, the bunch. No, there wasn't. And I'm not a frozen meatloaf eater because my mm -hmm. wife makes the best meatloaf. So this was... I don't know, this was uh, eye-opening. Yeah, pretty surprising. So let us know what meatloaf you guys like at home. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it.